guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today, we are going to do a foundation match. I know a lot of you are asking how to find the correct foundation shade for your skin or for your undertone. So today, we are going to discuss all of those um, all of your questions and we are going to tackle it step by step. So if you want to know how to find the perfect shade for you, then just keep on watching. And of course guys, I cannot do this alone. So we have a special guest today and as you've noticed, we are in a different setup, different background. So let me introduce to you one of my friends here in YouTube. So she is also a Filipino YouTuber here in New Zealand, Miss Liz! <laughs> she will be my model for today so that I can demonstrate to you clearly and step by step. So let's start with undertone. Do you know what's your undertone? Uh, actually, no. Can I speak Tagalog? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> my undertone, parang yun nga yung struggle ko eh. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung talagang skin tone ko pag bibili ako ng foundation yun yung isa sa mga struggle ko guys kasi nga dahil nga hindi ako makeup artist ba or hindi ko talaga pinag-aralan yan I don't know clueless <laughs> ako she's so straightforward I don't know so yeah. ano siya <laughs> okay, hindi ko alam <laughs> so we have three different kinds of undertone we have cool tone warm tone and then neutral tone if you have um purple veins so Pag tinignan niyo yung veins niyo dito, yeah. if it's more purple, then that means you are cool undertone. And if it's, ano naman, if it's more green like me, you see? see let me see yours. So yours is kind of like more um, green. I do have green veins. That means I'm yellow undertone or warm tone. What's your ano, Haze? So your mix. <laughs> or if it's a mix of green and purple, then you are most likely a neutral tone. Para mas madalian tayo to do it, I will serve as your beauty consultant kasi I will do it just like how I do with my clients or how I do it in the store if I do color matching. So for example, pag pumunta ka ng store, yeah. pa paano? Anong sinasabi? Kasi normally, sa ano, pag pumupunta ako sa store, meron na akong foundation na suot. Ngayon, dahil nga yung mga before na foundation ko, uh, medyo dark ang skin to ang um, binibigay sa akin yung nabibigay na bagong foundation na bibiling ko dark na din okay pag pupunta kayo sa store and you want to look for example bibili kayo ng foundation do not go to the store wag niyong pahirapan yung mga beauty consultant na meron kayong foundation na suot para mas madali ang tayong lahat if you are planning to buy a foundation on a certain day go to the store without anything on your on your face ah. and then let the beauty consultant do its work Para mas, mas madali kasi yung ganong way eh. Okay. okay so, so for example... Mali talaga ako. <laughs> Thank you. Kung hindi nalang nakilala ko siya. <laughs> so, there are so many ways. Okay. So, I have um three shades in here. Yeah. So, i-demonstrate natin yan kay Liz. So, choosing your foundation is not just about light to dark medium. Meron dyan mga in-betweens. So, meron um, mga tones na kailangan natin malaman. Hindi porket... Um, tan tayo, especially morena girls, hindi porket tan tayo, is do na tayo sa dark or medium, okay? Hindi porket maputi kayo, that means you are already in a light foundation, okay? So, pag pumupunta ka ng store, kaya rin magtatry ka ng foundation, do you try it sa hands? Sa, uh, sa ganito? Sa wrist? Ano kasi, pag pumupunta ako, pag may nag a sa akin, kasi dito sa New Zealand, mm. uh, hindi ko naman nila lahat, no? Pero most of the time, wala talagang sales assistant. So, talagang do it yourself lang. True. Uh, most of the time, ginagawa ko sa akin, I'll put it dito sa wrist ko. O kaya sometimes, sa leeg ko, yun. Pero pag meron namang nag a uh, like sa Mecca, ganun, mm. uh, nilalagay nila dito. But the thing is, yun ang asabi ko kanina, meron na akong foundation nun. Okay. Hindi naman nila binubura. <coughs> okay. <laughs> so, when I do a color match, hmm. I usually or normally, we match it with not just the neck, ah, and then no, no, no. dito sa my forehead, yun sa my side ng forehead. So, para everything will blend together. Kasi, you don't want naman na ma-dark yung foundation or ma yung foundation nyo and not matching your neck, magiging mukha kayong floating head. So, as much as possible, we want to match the whole face 
doon sa next side. Not the other way around. Kasi before, ang makikita ko is, minamatch nyo yung uh, face nyo doon sa neck nyo. So, kung magputi yung face nyo, minsan ginagawa natin, naglalagay tayo ng powder dyan, ganyan, di ba? Nilalagay nyo pa ng foundation dito. Which will save you a lot more time if the other way around na imamatch mo yung neck mo sa face mo. Ah, okay. Yes. Hindi ko alam yun na. So, eto yung first color natin. Yan yung sinasabi ko na itas yellow undertone. Maka-compare mo yan pag nilagay mo na the other shade. That is very pink. Is it pink? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So that means hindi siya ganon kamatch sa undertone ni Liz. Okay, and then this is the third one. I'll put it in between. So the third one, which is in the, in the one in the middle, it's kind of like in the middle of your pink and in the middle of your yellow. So, th so that means that is your neutral tone. So now that we already know the right undertone, hindi pa doon natatapos ay lahat, okay? Both of us are yellow tone or warm tone, but there are numbers for that. So for example, I am like in Estee Lauder Double Wear, I am 3W1, which is 3 warm. Liz, probably ma ano siya, 2. So parehong warm, but different numbers. Different level siya. Different level siya ng pagka-warm. So now what I'm doing is, ilalagay ko na yung right shade and right tone for Liz. Both of these are yellow tone, pero this one kasi is medyo dark. So we need a little bit more lighter, which is this one, the Fenty Beauty. What is your shade in here, girl? Fenty Beauty 180, 180. Pro Filter. So, yeah. So, every time na, kanyari, confused ka, punta na store, just bring this one, because yes. this is your perfect shade. Okay. Bring this one to the mm -hmm. store, and let the client, or let the consultants to match this shade, para laging perfect yung magiging foundation ng mga kukha mo. Naku, ang dami ko na nabiling foundation, dahil hindi tama. <laughs> I-mix mo na lang siya. I mix mm -hmm. and match mo na lang siya. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So, now that we already know the right shade and the right uh, tone and the right foundation for this, the next question I ask to my clients is, how do you apply your foundation? Ako, personally, I use brush. To my clients, when I do makeup, I use brush. Pero, it doesn't necessarily mean what works for me might work for others. So, I ask them, do you use sponge, brush, or I use your finger? Um, I actually use a damp sponge. <coughs> uh, pero, pag, depende kung ano yung consistency ng foundation. Yep. Pag medyo velvety nga siya, kinakamay ko na lang. Yep. Pero, pag yung mga ano, full coverage foundation, talagang sponge ang ginagamit ko. Damp oh. sponge. Okay, so... Kung ano yung gusto ng client, kung ano yung usual na ginagamit niya, yun yung ginagawa ko sa kanila. Kasi parang pag nakauwi sila, yun yung routine nila eh. Yun yung ginagawa nila eh. Hindi porket i-apply mo ng uh, brush store, pwede, pwede naman nilang gawin kung gusto nila. Pero dun tayo, syempre, ta syempre yung consultant, yung mag adjust dun sa gusto ng clients. So, for that, I'm going to use the sponge. seem like na sobrang puti ng face ni Liz, diba? Kung titignan niya sa camera. But, in reality, yun talaga kasi yung uh, color ng neck niya eh. Mas maputi talaga yung neck niya kaysa dun sa face niya. So, kailangan i-adjust mo yun. Hindi yung maitim yung mukha mo, tapos papaitimin mo rin yung neck mo. That would be the perfect shade and the perfect uh, foundation for her. But, that doesn't mean that you need to stop there. Because, sometimes, may mga foundation na nag-oxidize. Yeah. Merong foundation na sobrang perfect na hindi siya gumagalaw at all. Hindi siya nag-oxidize. So, may mga questions din akong naririnig about oxidation. Kung bakit siya nag-oxidize. Just like imagine, um, like take for example yung apple, di ba? Pag yung apple, pag kinat mo siya, naanohan siya ng air, ng oxygen, nagba-brown siya, nag-oxidize siya, nagiging darken siya. So, sometimes may tendency na maging ganun yung foundation. So, what you need to do, is um, let the foundation breathe, let the foundation um, stay in your face before you buy the foundation para matest nyo siya kung mag-change siya. So usually you need to like take 5 to 10 minutes para matest out siya. Or what you can do para hindi masayang yung pera nyo is get a sample size sa store, go home, try it yourself, 
para matest niyo talaga and para ma-assure kayo na yung foundation na yon is much sa inyo and hindi siya mag-oxidize. And the best thing pala na matest out niyo yung foundation niyo is through natural light. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hindi kasi minsan yung mga lights sa store nakakadaya. Totoo yun, guys. Kasi di ba minsan meron tayong mirror na parang ang ganda-ganda nyo, ang flawless nyo, mm -hmm. pag may ilaw. But in a natural light, lalo na yung mas magandang i-test out yung foundation or yung makeup sa mirror ng sasakyan. Ah, okay. Di ba yung sa sasakyan, ganyan, driver seat, uh -oh. di ba may mirror doon? Uh -oh. Baba nyo yun, test out nyo yun, um, yun yung gamitin nyo. Kasi doon, direct sunlight talaga. Hindi eh. ba pag sasasakay, pag nagdadrive ka, kaya direct pala, sunlight. Kaya miss, kaya, kaya pala pag tumitingin ako doon, parang, ay, ang pangit ko naman. Kaya, <laughs> kaya, <laughs> so, <laughs> and then, pero totoo, alam mo, totoo, yun yung, yung ano, yun yung sinasabi namin na um, mga nagme-makeup. Ano yun, yung horror mirror. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Horror mirror yun. Oh my gosh, kasi, now I know, I won't <laughs> Lalo na kunyari pag sa bahay, parang lalo na pag hindi ka nakaharap sa bintana, di ba dito ka nakaharap. Ang ganda-ganda mo. Parang ang ganda mo, may ilaw, may ring light ka pa and everything. Pero paglabas mo parang, ano ba yan, makikita mo na hindi pantay yung pinipata mo, hindi pantay yung kilay mo, yan. Try nyo yan sa horror mirror. May bago kayo natutunan ko. Correct! Hindi ko na lang yun! Oh my God! Another thing then is, watch kayo ng mga reviews. Watch kayo ng mga beauty reviews. Um, para, kunyari, may certain brand kayo na gustong itry or na gustong bilhin, watch kayo ng mga beauty reviews. Um, like what I do, nag-review ako ng mga products, and because at some point, it will help you eh. Lalo na if you have um, the same skin type, or same uh, skin tone with the YouTuber na pinapanood nyo. This is not, this is not promoting, ano ah, this is just helping you guys. Para ma, um, para makita nyo rin, or para marinig nyo, both sides, um, kung maganda siya or hindi siya maganda. And then again, just a reminder guys, um, what works for you may not work for me, may not work for her, and what works for us may not work for you too. So, kailangan itry nyo talaga ako, high ng samples and everything like that. So, that's it guys, and did you learn something today? And any questions pala? Any questions? Ako question ko, yes. ano, uh, nag-iisip pa. <laughs> <laughs> questions? Sa Wala, foundation. Ay, hindi. Ito. Si oxidation. Oo oh, nga. Paano mo malalaman kung ang foundation nag-oxidize o hindi? Malalaman mo ba yun? No. Ah, okay. Hindi mo malalaman until you try it. Hindi talaga. Kasi ako, hindi ako yung... Kasi sinasabi nila that nag-oxidize yung foundation pag acidic ka or pag oily ka. Oo nga. Oo nga. It, hindi ganun yung situation sa akin. So, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. Na parang... Kasi sabi nila na pag... Pag pawisin ka daw, mas marami kang acid sa katawan. Uh Oo. -oh. Kaya, pag mas marami acid, ibig sabihin mas nag-oxidize. Mm. Pero kasi ako, pawisin ako, pero hindi sa akin nag-oxidize yung foundation. Mostly ng foundation ko, hindi siya nag-oxidize. Um, it is what it is siya, kung pag nilalagay ko. Pero, may mga foundation, only few lang, may mga foundation talaga na... Um, nag-oxidize, na nag-change, kahit dito lang ha, kahit hindi ko nilalagay okay. sa face ha, kahit dito lang sa, um, sa hands, sinaswatch ko lang, nag-change siya. So, um, kung hindi pa rin kayo nakakahanap ng foundation na hindi nag-oxidize, meron at meron dyan for sure, um, merong kayong mahanap, and I, ako feeling ko depende yun sa formulation eh, ng foundation eh, depende yun sa formulation ng brands on how they do it eh. Kaya, mm -hmm. ayun. Kasi, ako ah, I will not um, drop name, pero mayroon ako isang brand na, na tinatry, kasi di ba nagre-review ako, two different shades, one is, nag-oxidize, one is hindi. So, bakit ganun? Ah, okay. Di ba? Pero, pero parehong same, same, same brand, same, brand, ah, okay. same foundation, isa nag-oxidize, isa hindi. Okay. Kaya, mm -hmm. hindi ako naniniwala or I don't believe in the, ano na, dahil because acidic ako, kaya mm -hmm. nag-oxidize sa akin. Uh, or uh, pawisin kasi ako, kaya nag-oxidize. I don't think it's um, the person or siguro at some point yung pH, le pH level natin. Pero ako most, mostly nasa nasa product yon nasa brand yon so, okay okay guys so that's it for this video and I hope you learned something and I hope you learned something yes too. I do as in request ko yon <laughs> oh, at ako ang model yun. yes okay uh -oh. so and yun na nga thank you so much ano for helping me out at least di ba ngayon hindi na ako lalabas at pupunta bibili ng 
foundation na mukhang dark sa face ko. Kaya pala nagtataka ako before. Kasi pag, ano, nag, lalo na nga, oily ako, lalong umiitim. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. So, yun guys. Thank you so much yes. for guesting me in your channel. Yan. Thank you. Na walang make-up. Punta <laughs> kayo sa channel ko. Hindi ganito ito uh, ako. So, that's it guys. Um, I hope you find this video helpful. So, if you have more questions, just comment down below. Or if you have um, other issues about makeup that you want to tackle, comment down below. And, yeah, don't forget to hit like and Subscribe to my channel and her channel too. See Liz Quico. Yeah, see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. For my channel, uh, hanapin yun lang is Liz Quico, but she'll put the uh, link down, down below sa description sure. box. Yes. Yan. Yeah. And first time nga namin gagawin to, so we're a YouTuber here in New Zealand. Ah, uh, yan. So kung meron pang ibang mga YouTuber dito sa New Zealand na nagbo beauty, ano ba? or basta nagbo-vlog, mm. ganyan. Ayan. Mag-reach out lang kayo sa amin. Yes. So that lumaki ang ating <laughs> squad. <laughs> ang ating community. Yes. Yan. Ayan. Ayan. Yeah, um, I will put Liz um, YouTube account and Instagram Instagram? Instagram down below para ma-check niya rin siya. Mahilig siya mag-vlog. So, yes. kung gusto niya mga vlogs, vlogs na ganyan, ayan, masipag siyang gumawa ng gano'n. And siya, review. Kaya review. kung gusto niya naman ng yes. review, sa kanya. Yes, ayan. Yeah. So, meron kaming um, gagawin na two videos on my channel and two videos on her channel. Yes. So, watch out for that. Nasa description box din yon yung mga challenge na gagawin namin and everything like that. And, yeah. Bye! <laughs> Ba? Kasi parang ang laki ko dito. Isa-zoom in ko lang naman ito. Huwag ka magkakita. Huwag ka magkakita. Kasi pag masyado malapit, ganun. Kita na pores ko niya. Ano sasabihin ko? Sabihin ko.